so far. I feel like I have not spoken to my YouTube family in forever. I feel like the 2020 plague swept in and kind of made us all crazy. So let me know in the comments how you're doing. I miss you guys. Since I stopped my Tarot Tuesdays, the live ones, I feel like so many people I have been disconnected from. So yeah, <clears throat> if you're still around, drop me a comment. Say hey. Let me know, yeah, I survived it. No, I didn't survive it. Things are good. Things are not so great. Just say hey. All right, today is Tarot Tuesday. So as usual, I got my trusty deck here, the Lightseer's deck, because I can't pull myself away from it. I'm telling you guys. And the cards are just flying out. I am telling you, I put... Oh, did you see my kitty? Floyd loves to be in the camera. I put the Muse deck in an organza bag and I put it next to my bed and I said, I'm going to start connecting with it. That way I can do readings with it. I still haven't connected with it. Just, this is my go-to deck. I'm not going to force it. Anyway, side note, you saw Floyd walk by? <laughs> there is a new kitty in the house. Jax or Jackie. She is hiding. She has not, she doesn't really come out other than to <coughs> hiss at Floyd. Floyd hisses at her. I think they like each other. I think it's just a game they're playing. It's been about two, maybe three weeks. But um, yeah, there's another kitty. So hopefully you'll see her on the screen soon. All right, guys, let's get into the cards before I continue to ramble. <coughs> I might do a vlog and just update you guys on what's been going on. There's a, kind of a lot that's been going on. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to hear a vlog and kind of be filled in on what's going on? All right, here we go. All right. Deep breath. We ask our guides, guardians, and angels to join us today to surround us, our ancestors to surround us, so that we might be connected and receive the messages that we need to hear through the cards and that they be a tool. And we thank you, Samurai. Here we go, we'll do a little shuffle shuffle. Card number one, card number two, and card number three. All right. So I'm just going to put them down. Hopefully you can see them without the glare. Hmm. I really want you guys to see them without the glare. There we go. So you can see which ones you're drawn to. So put this one with the quartz. Two with the amethyst and three with the citrine. And I'll give you all a minute to focus on that and decide which card you're drawn to. If you were drawn to the card with the clear quartz, you were drawn to the Eight of Wands. That card has been coming up quite a lot in the card picks recently. If you look at this card, you can see how quickly the spears or the wands are being thrown. This card is all about clear and fast communication. So if you've been waiting for some communication or you've been in a, in a pattern where you have all of a sudden something has stalled in your life. You've been waiting for a contract to come through, whether at work or at home. Um, you've been waiting to hear some kind of communication and things have just stalled. You can expect that this, this um, communication or this contract is going to happen. It's gonna come 
and it's gonna come fast. So expect things to start up and as soon as they do, things are gonna be quick and things are gonna settle themselves, everything's gonna get resolved. But expect it to happen quickly, so be on the top of your game and ready for things to um, culminate. All right, if that was your card. Second card, if you pick the card with the um, amethyst heart, it is the wheel, another one that's come up quite often recently. Now, when the wheel comes up, it's all about the ups and downs in life, the cycle of life, karma, fate. So when we see this card, we're talking about how if you're on a downward, if you're, things are kind of down for you right now, have hope. Oh God, look at that hair. Sorry. Have hope that things are going to be better. Things in life always change. Life is always changing. So you have to kind of flow with life because if, if you're down now, tomorrow you could be up. If you're up today, keep in mind that, you know what, you might be on an up cycle of life, but don't, um, don't be that person that brags and is not humble about things because tomorrow you might be the one that's down and you might need help tomorrow. So just keep that in mind as you go through life, that life is cyclical. So knowing that might help you right now. You know, just, just having that thought in your head. And if you chose the last card, which is the one with the citrine, it is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is about starting, starting. Um, Pages is always about new beginnings, kind of. Pages are about learning, right? The page is the beginner, learning. This particular page is about learning. Do you, are you starting a new pursuit in business? Is there something that you've wanted to learn? Pick up the books, start. Now is the time to start learning. Is there a hobby you've been wanting to try? Is there a new class you've been wanting to do? Did you see something online and say, hey, you know what, that class looks interesting. Or you went to the library and you saw, you know, a class, a yoga class or a meditation class and you thought, oh, that looks really cool. I'd love to do that. Now is the time to do that. Did you want to take a business class, a class at your local community college? Now is the time to be doing that for you. So those are our cards for today. And I'm going to kind of leave them here so you can take a look at them. I will, as always, link the deck in the description below. If you would like to get in contact with me for a private reading for yourself, I will leave a link to the Etsy in the, the description below. I will also leave a link to the Facebook group if you'd like to join our Facebook group. It's really cool. We do different, every day we have a different theme and um, we have different discussions going on with the theme. Also, we have contests and games. We're really interactive. We love hanging out with each other. We're just a group of spiritual people who enjoy spending time with each other. So if you'd like to be a part of that community, the links will be in the description below. When you try and join, just let me know that you saw, saw the link on YouTube. All right, guys, I enjoyed spending the time with you. I love spending this time with you. Let me know if you would like me to do some lives again on YouTube. I, I'm thinking I do miss those, but I want to know, do you miss those before I think about coming back for lives? All right, guys, blessed be. I will see you on Thursday for angel card readings. Bye.